go ahead and dismantle it for you. So if you want to upgrade anything in there, it'll know how to do it. First, you want to start off by pushing the button in the back here to pop the top. Simply lift it up, slide it out. Now, if you had a mini PCIe wireless card installed, you'll see two brackets, one here and one there, I believe, holding the antennas down. You would just simply remove the screws for it, pop it off, and then put the uh, antennas aside. Uh, I don't have it, so the first step here is to remove the top bracket, which simply involves removing the single screw here and then removing the top bracket. Let's go ahead and remove the screw here and then just take it take it off. The next step you want to do is remove the optical drive, which all you need to do is remove just one single screw here and then pull off the data cable. You can do either one, whatever order you want. I'll go ahead and take the cable out now. Then remove the screw and then just take it and slide it out. And now we can see the drive caddy here. And what you need to do first here is remove the screw screw here, holding the power button on, and then you'll be able to remove the drive caddy. So, like before, just simply unscrew it, and then just kind of just pops off. Just hang it over the side here so it won't get away. And now for the hard drive caddy, there's two screws. Uh, both are pretty much along the front. One is right there in that white little square and the other one is along the right side also in that white little square so just take your screwdriver and next what you want to do is take the caddy so take it here slide it that way so it clears the little hook, little uh, hook type things here and here Slide it, and as you start to lift it up, don't forget to try to remove the uh, power NATO cable right here. You simply pull it out, and now the drive caddy is removed. If you want to replace the hard drive, there's just uh, two screws on either side of it holding it in. Just, you know, take them out, swap the drive, and that's it. And now we have the, uh, you know, basically the entire inside of the computer here. Uh, as you can see, the card reader is here, USB ports. Um, if you have a mini PCI card, it would be going right there, right here with the screw holding it in there. Uh, and there you have it. Um, if you want to remove the memory, simply turn it upside down. There's two feet in the bottom, one there, one there that have screws. Undo those screws that pop off the bottom lid and you have access to both memory uh, sticks. A couple things to note when you're putting it all back together. When you put the drive caddy back in, make sure this isn't under it and that it's still on the side as you put it in. Uh, as well as when you put the lid back on, there are these two little clips in front here. Which are going to actually fit in the front right there. Just two minor things you want to keep track of.